today I'm at Jayco Prestige in Geelong and I'm so excited because I'm here to check out the Jayco base station. I've seen so many on the road that I thought I really need to come and have a look and show you guys around because it just is so spacious and if you're into adventure like we are, you are going to love this van. Oh my god, this is so spacious. Wow, that club lounge, that's amazing. Now this may have to be my second or maybe first favorite. This is one of the things that I absolutely love about these vans and why we were originally gonna go with an expander. However, I've just heard that they are not making expander anymore with the club lounge, but the silver line still do. But this base station comes with a slide out club lounge, which is huge. You could sleep on it. Um, but you could definitely fit like six or eight people in here. And the other thing is this is velour. Leather is an option. We went for leather, but I really love the fabric. It just feels so cozy. Anyway, let's have a look. Look how huge that area is. It is massive. And of course it goes down as well. So I'm now in the back section of the base station and this part is really cool. It feels like the kids would have completely their own area. And of course, you can also put in uh, a little boat, a kayak, your skis, motorbike. I would also think that maybe you could put a dinghy in here. A tinny would probably be a little bit too small, but it is really cool. And I just feel like you have so much space. And for me, it would be great for the cats. Now the base station actually comes with two bunks included, so a standard, but these two bunks you can have added for, I think it's around $1,230. So you can get the two bunks and you can also add this as well, with, which is extra storage. But if you had surfboards or skis or something like that, you could maybe not put that in and you could pop them here. And of course these fold up and down, so you could just fill this whole space. Got to remember about the, the weight. Of towing. These little windows have been added because this particular van has gone for the extra option of having the bunks. So if you don't have the bunks, you don't get that windows. So this space station has an option of having the washing machine right here, which I think is super handy because I'm always having to have the washing basket in our bathroom area and if I could have it so that it could sit just outside the annex that would just give us a little bit more space in the bathroom but this is it here so they put the little space here and I think it's around $500 that you can get but always check on the website because they're always changing obviously but this is a 3.3 .3 litre so it's the same as ours and it's a sphere. The storage in this caravan is absolutely phenomenal. There are so many cupboards. I'm going to count them. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23. And then if you get the extra, because you've got the you've got the robe in there and then you've got the extra one, that's another four. That's another six. Wow, so much storage. So this is the push out bed. Now obviously you're going to have to compromise on something if you're going to have the club lounge and all that space out there. And this is the slight compromise that you're going to have to have, which is having your bed facing this way so you have to jump over each other. But if you're like me, I'm first to bed and I'm last up. So I would just take the end and we'd have no problems and hopefully my husband will bring me a coffee in the morning, which he does. The other thing is it is really nice to open these up and you get nice breeze coming through. You can also get the storm cover over the top as an added option and there is also a piece of fiberglass that goes over the top of this so you've pretty much got full protection with a little bit of airiness. Now I think this is a double size bed and there is also storage under here and you got a curtain. 
Now this is in the bed area, so you've got extra cupboards under here. Uh, that is the boot that goes outside, so we would probably have our barbecue under there. And this one here has got some electronic stuff. <laughs> Now the kitchen. The kitchen is same size as ours. The cupboards seem to be a little bit bigger. You don't so much have the pantry, but you've got that over here. And there's extra cushions that come with it as well. Found some more. Let's have a look at the cupboards. Oh, wow, that is so cool. Oh my gosh, it's got one of those slide out pantries. That is cool. Oh wow, I love that. What a great use of space. The drawers are huge. Look at that. Oh my gosh. Oh wow. That's good for like little dishcloths and all that kind of thing. That's obviously the bottom of the cooker we just got three doesn't matter ours only work anyway we've only got three the only thing is that doesn't have an electric one but I guess you can always plug one in and you can only use that anyway when you're on power oh wow look at all that space and you've got another cupboard under here and the fridge is on this side right here is that extra pantry which is what I'd probably use it for but you could always use it for linen as well but I don't know, you probably don't need that much space for linen considering you've got all the other cupboards. Let's have a look inside. One shelf, two shelves, three shelves, four, five. Oh my God. You can really fill this van up. And it actually, the tear weight of this is 2,700. So you have to be a little bit cautious of how much you're filling it up, depending on what kind of car you've got. Okay, so I haven't opened up the bathroom yet and I'm kind of excited to see what it looks like because it just looks like it's hidden behind here. Let's take a look. Okay, so you've got your little sink over there. You've got your toilet. Wow, look how beautiful and clean that is. And I guess you've got to kind of have your shower over the top of the toilet. So that might be a little bit of a downfall, but remember that you're buying this for adventure and you can have the option of an outdoor shower. Okay, so I'm gonna stand in here and see what it feels like with my clothes on. Okay, so you'd have your little shower here over the top of the toilet. Um, I feel like it swivels a little bit that way and you could have your little hospital curtain here closed and in case you wanted to keep the door open while you're having a shower or you're having a poop. I'm not sure. But let's remember this is an adventure caravan. So there is also an option to have an outside shower. So you'd probably use that if you're in the middle of the bush because you have a little bit more space. Um, but this would definitely do the job because all you'd be doing is washing off the sand or the dirt. This is that space underneath. There is still a fair bit of room under there too, so you can actually stack things up higher. Got your power outlet and your 12 volt. Two other vents to the fridge, so you've got to make sure you keep those open. This, I think, is the entertainment part, which is extra. We do have it, but we never use it but it is handy to have in case you want to watch the footy outside. That's locked, but that is that little picnic table thing that hangs out and I highly recommend it because if you're setting up for just a night or two, these are really handy to sort of get out and I'd probably put two in. 
So let's just take a little look around the front here. So it comes with two nine litre kilogram gas bottles. And you've got, this is just the normal length drawbar, but you can get an extended one. I think he said it was a couple of hundred dollars, which to me is well worth it. But the only thing is we've got, uh, I think it's nine meters in all length. And you've just got to be wary that if you're going to caravan parks, if you're more than that, it is sometimes difficult to get sites that are big enough for your caravan. Okay, so these vans start in the low 80,000s. Check the website because they are constantly updating that, but also just call a consultant. There is a few options that you can have added on, but I've probably highlighted a few of those. And again, check the website, but there is a few things that I would definitely consider, which is maybe upgrading the solar and the battery, which you don't really need to do, but we did it and we just felt a little bit more comfortable with that. You've actually got 100 amp battery and a 160 watt solar panel above so you can have that upgraded if you wanted to i would definitely go for the outdoor shower you could do the extended drawbar the double bunks at the back and the extra wardrobe if you've got more kids then obviously that is necessary and the thing is you can always just fold it down so that doesn't hurt at that's not going to hurt at all. You've already got the slide out lounge. You've got the upgrade that you could do if you wanted pleather or leather. Um, so there's those things as well. They're probably the main things. You probably don't need a bike rack, obviously, because you've got the um, this particular caravan, they put a gray water tank on, which is about 62 liters worth. We have hardly used our gray water tank. And to be honest, I just feel like it's gonna weigh you down and emptying it is not fun. I've been around people that have emptied their gray tank and it really smells, it's like just terrible. But you've also got to remember for your weights, this is 2,700, um, the tear weight. So they've allowed for say 810 kilograms to go on. Now think about this, you've got two water tanks, which is about 165. If you put a WR450 in the back there, that's another 130 kilograms. So you're already up to nearly 300. And this is like this, this place this caravan has got so much storage in it that you could take a lot of stuff with you so you've got to be really mindful of how much you're adding into the caravan because if you put say a wr450 and a dinghy in there you're probably going to go over your weight so you've just got to be mindful of that oh it depends what kind of car you've got we've got a v8 land cruiser so it would be fine um, but we would still need to be careful um, i think for like the washing machine that weighs like 20 kilos i would definitely put that in i think it was like 550 some dollars or something like that to add it and that to me has been a game changer you've got shower toilet everything in here so you could definitely live comfortably here if you had to get locked down or something like that i love this caravan and if mark said to me we can come and buy this i probably would swap it which is a lot because i love my caravan just such a long way from this bed to the end i'm gonna count how many steps one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve oh my gosh twelve steps well i'm back in my full messy caravan that's feeling a little bit old now that i've spent the afternoon in the base station just wanted to shout out jaco prestige in geelong thank you so much for letting me have a look at your vans and especially jamie mallon which i'll send put a little photo here of him if you're in the area all the staff there are fantastic but he's my guy and um if you're interested in more of these caravan tours Put a little note down below and let me know which van you'd like to see next and I'll try and do that for you. Please hit subscribe if you like this kind of thing and we'll see you next time. Bye.